Good morning, as I just showed you, that's my regular routine in the morning. Get some uh, glass of lemon water, two full glasses of water, then I turn on the coffee pot. Mm -hmm. So, I guess you saw I filled up my two liter jug, my water, my, uh, my protein water jug. And I love having this because it basically measures how much water you have all day. So I fill this up first thing in the morning, and then as you can see, I drank about half of that already from just those three glasses of water. I don't count uh, water from coffee as part of my water bowls. That's just bonus on top. So I pretty much will drink the rest of this before I hit the gym in the next hour or so. And then when I go to the gym, I'll drink the other one and I pretty much hit my water bowl first thing in the morning almost. So then I just drink water throughout the day whenever I feel I need to hydrate. Gotta get those water gains, people. Get it. So two reasons why I like drinking that amount of water first thing in the morning. A, it's good for your metabolism, get your metabolism fired to start the day, and B, it helps you be regular. So I'm gonna hit the bathroom right now because it's just what I do in the morning. <laughs> ah, so now that that's done, time for some coffee. And as you guys know, you may have seen in previous videos, I am the least furthest thing from being a coffee snob as you can. I keep it real. I'm just making some instant coffee. Um, I'm gonna make some coconut, I make some coconut oil with it, with some stevia. It makes it into a latte, like really thick. And here's how I make it if you haven't seen it before. because every time you put the lid on with all that heat in there and then you hit the button to blend it, it explodes up. Rookie mistake, Brad. Mm, lost coffee gains. And that's one of the reasons why I kind of use this blender. It's like a cheaper blender that I got from Costco because it's glass up here. Because a lot of the other blenders are plastic up here, but since I'm using like really hot coffee, I don't like to mix that in plastic, so that's why. Creamy, delicious coffee. So guys, those are just a few of the daily morning habits that I do. I do it like it's a habit, so I do it every single day. And it sets up your day for uh, more positive habits to come later in the day. I find the intentions that you set, the habits that you do, the behaviors that you take in the morning, it really sets up the rest of your day for success. So get into some positive habits like that, like you see me do. If uh, this isn't what works for you, then figure out what works for you and stick with it. Make sure you just keep consistently doing it. Cheers. But the most important thing for me to do in the morning is kiss my daughter, tell her that I love her, and tell her how beautiful she is. Daddy loves you. Can you say hi to everybody? What do horses eat? Hey. <laughs> okay, maybe tomorrow. What's up guys? It's a Sunday, I'm still here in the office, and uh, I just wanted to quickly share with you guys. This is just like my temporary spot right now. I, I got a private office that's going on uh, a few floors up from here. But now that I'm back in the office uh, working on Live Lean TV, um, I'm back into the habits that I had before when I was working in the marketing world in corporate America, where I had to bring snacks, I had to pack lunch, um, because I'm spending hours and hours here. So I wanted to share with you guys today, I just kind of stocked up my spot with some food. I want to show you guys what I have. So number one, I put together some trail mix. So we got some nuts and seeds in here. So I have pistachios, macadamias, walnuts, and a little bit of raisins. Now, all of the nuts except for the macadamias are raw, no, no, not salted or anything. And then the macadamias are what's salted. So if I'm adding like a bunch of nuts into the bag, I like to have just one of the nuts be salted. So it's not overpoweringly, but it actually adds salt to everything else. So that's what I have and I portioned it out because trail mix obviously it's with nuts and uh, seeds and dried fruit, it can be a little uh, calorie dense. So I portioned it out, it's, I think it's like a half a cup 
in each serving. So I got different baggies there. So those are going in to my drawer. Also brought in some uh, tuna. So we got some albacore tuna that I pick up at Costco. You see it's just uh, albacore tuna and sea salt. So very clean tuna. Uh, I don't have that all every day, but it's just like if I need a protein, quick protein source, and it actually you can crack it on top. So that there is going in my drawer. And then we have protein powder. So this is from my friends at Roots. This is a paleo protein powder. I've showed you guys this before. It's, uh, there's no whey in it, so it's just egg white, uh, some hemp, and some electro blends, some superfoods, some green detox, and some other ingredients in there. So a very clean uh, protein powder. It's sweetened um, with stevia, just a little bit of stevia in there. So I'll keep that in my drawer. I'll mix that with water if need be. So I got my shaker over there. So that's going in. Of course, bring a little fork. And I'm glad I brought this fork because on my way here, I stopped in at Chipotle because I was kind of hungry. Oh, I got one other thing before I show you Chipotle. I got some homemade cookies. Jessica made these for me. So four cookies in a baggie. Keep those in there. And lastly, uh, this is like a little lunch option that you guys can do if you're in the office. Chipotle is probably one of the best options that you can do. So I got a carnita bowl. So it's just carnitas. It's got some lettuce in there, and I did add some rice and black beans because I just need the calories at this point. And then I brought a fork because I forgot to pick up a fork at Chipotle, so I'm glad I brought that from home. So that's it, guys. Those are some snacks that you guys can bring to your office so you're not raiding the vending machine, you're not uh, going out for a quick sugar source because you're starving at the fast food joint across the street from your office. Always be prepared. So keep those snacks in my drawer. Time to get to work. 5.13 on a Sunday. I think it's time to get out of here. So we're gonna be holding some Ask Live Lean TV podcasts in there, or we could do it in here too. New set, new set. Mouthwash, don't mind if I do. Squirt, squirt. You never be too fresh. Always gotta keep it fresh. All right, it's gone. What's up, guys? We're back with another sun basket recipe. Uh, we got three of these sent to us in the mail. It delivers right to our door. And what we're making today is Japanese pork curry with broccoli and cauliflower rice. Kyle is over there making a racket, it sounds like. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. You gotta keep it down, babe. We're cooking. <laughs> So as we've been showing you with these sun basket recipes, we get uh, we got some pork here, and then the rest of the ingredients. So that's all uh, packed and cold when it's at the door, so it's all kept fresh. And then the rest of them are in the bag here. So we got some cauliflower rice, some scallions, some ginger, carrots, broccoli, onion. We're almost to the bottom. Here's our spices. We got garlic curry powder, arrowroot powder, and then some diced organic tomatoes. So let's get cooking.
date. Changing the baby's diaper. Changing the baby diaper over there. This one just did a number on her diaper. <laughs> All right, looks like I'm eating by myself. So much color, so much flavor in here. Mmm. On point once again, some basket. On point once again. I have not yet had a bad meal from Sun's Basket. Everything has been freaking delicious. If you guys want to get three free meals from Sun Basket, put the link down below, liveleantv.com forward slash Sun Basket, and you guys can be eating these delicious meals delivered right to your door. Give it a try, guys. I'm telling you, give it a try and you will be hooked. <laughs> There you go. Mm. Look good. It's incredible. Another thumbs up for Sun Basket. Absolutely. So that's.